My dearest Emily, I apologize for taking this assignment so suddenly and for leaving as quickly as I did, but I'm sure you understand. One case follows another, and despite the revolution's attempts to separate our church and state, the sense of order and justice must be maintained. This then is my duty. See through the trees, through the darkness. I pray now for this, to see through the deception, the darkness that is the natural lie of man. The reports on the revolution confirm the most fantastic of rumors, that its members number in the infinite, that the hierarchy and the workers of mid and even lesser import are unknown even to each other. They operate as the shadows, one moving smoothly, joining another, never knowing how or why, only that a deed must be accomplished. I don't know what awaits me. Every person is suspect. My supervisor, Harrison Baker, senses an alliance in this place, a sympathetic lean toward the darkness of the revolution. If they succeed, will I fail? A man once said, everything begins in mysticism and ends in politics. Police house, Inspector. Magnificent, isn't it? Of course, we don't have the splendid wildlife that you Greenwich people have, but uh, our flora is prize winning, wouldn't you say? Bob Bryce. John Abbott. Well, uh, Mr. Abbott, uh, have you seen the latest report? 23 dead last news hour, and now, uh, now this. They say Greenwich, isn't it? I know what they say. Does it work? They're praying to me. Sometimes. Without the benefit of God, I would have remained a peasant. I believe that. Yeah, please sit down, Mr. Abbott. Can I get you something? Uh, tea, water? No, thank you. Lemon soda? I'm fine. Your supervisor, Mr. Uh... Baker. Baker. Telephone. He said you would need to examine the body. As soon as possible. I intend to cooperate fully. Baker mentioned some personal items, some notes. Uh, yes, uh, eight typewritten sheets. Uh, everything is in building 12. Uh, Mr. Abbott. I hope that the authorities at Kent don't imagine that we had anything to do with this. The truth of it, Mr. Bryce, we'll point fingers later. What's this? The dead have a curious effect on some. This will keep you conscious, alert, and objective. It's a derivative of polyanazine. I assure you, harmless and non-addictive. Please take it. Some level 
She have any children? She liked women. She never managed to adopt. But her mother misses her. Will she be buried in Greenwich? She's to be incinerated. Remove the sheet, please. Preliminary tests indicate asphyxia is the probable cause of death. Strangulation? Well, <clears throat> lack of oxygen. That's really all we know. Where are her clothes? Over there. Uh, we finish here first. I've kept everything separate from the body. Excuse me. Please. She has sand under her nails. Sand? Under her nails. Well, I don't know anything about that. Uh, you'll have to read the report. Mr. Bryce? How many of your people, and please be specific, how many of your people examined her? Uh, just one. Uh, Dr. Abigail Trent, uh, our resident surgeon. That's her car. Keep it. I should like to meet with her as soon as possible. Is there something wrong? She spent her last two days, Wednesday the 6th and Thursday the 7th, with two men, Donald Heller and Sean Clark. Uh, the papers I mentioned are at the bottom, Mr. Evans. Mr. Abbott, I'm more than a little embarrassed by all of this. If there is foul play here, I assure you I do not condone it, nor am I a party to it. Did I mention to you I was married? No. Have you been through this? I haven't touched it. Cards for the uh, big machine. It's a thinking apparatus. Surely you have one like it. Not this old. I see. Um, each little hole is uh, representative of a letter, and when several cards are entered into the machine, they are sorted together to create words. Uh, for instance, the word God. When can I have access to it? Uh, I'll phone them immediately. I would like to see your room as well. I'll, I'll take you.
that she kept most of her possessions over there. How well did you know her? I didn't. Well, that is, I knew of her. As well. It slipped out, fell when you opened the drawer. It must have been secured, hidden underneath. Isn't that something? for me to stay here. My dearest Emily, I have arrived safely in Southridge. It is not, as Baker put it in his report of 1012, the nexus of degradation. Nor is it the ecclesiastical Eden of our friend and scholar, Miles Duncan. Instead, it is like most things, most places, incomplete and wanting. Wanting God, wanting to be saved. As I close my eyes this night, I take these words as comfort. I have been young, and now I'm old. I have seen the wicked in great power, but I have yet to see the righteous forsaken, or his seed begging bread. Kiss the children for me. All my love, John. Sure. Like this is fine, thank you. I envy you, John Abbott. If I only had your temperance. They won't win. I beg your pardon? The revolutionists. They won't. I never meant to imply, Mr. Abbott. Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, Greenwich is uh, well fortified, yes? They won't make it past Wheaton. Yesterday, you mentioned some names. Sean Clark, Donald Heller, a woman. Uh, Abby Trent. Yes, so unfortunately, Miss Trent is away at the moment. Uh, the Fairfield Lecture Circuit be returning for a couple of days. Are you getting all this? What about the others? <sighs> Sean Clark is a typesetter over at Andover Press, 1312 Harcourt Street. Works six days a week, regular as clockwork. And Heller? And Heller. Donald Heller is a painter. One of the uh, important mean. We'll start with him. Mr. Heller, it's Bob Bryce. This is John Abbott. He's the authority from Kent. Greenwich, actually. I, I only work for Kent. I'm investigating the murder of Wayne Shepard. I understand you were one of the last people to see her alive. That's right. One of the last. Easy, Donnie. He's not accusing you. Talk to him. You saw her when? Wednesday. Last Wednesday? We went to the museum. We circled the Hammond Pavilion in a hot air balloon. We ate quiche. And I didn't feel rejected when she spurred my advances. A friend of mine told me you were seen together near Pond Ludwig. That's 16 miles from the museum. 
quite a distance to travel. A lie. Sister Mary Agnes was mistaken, then. OK, look, say we were near the pond, so what? You have a wonderful eye for color. Mr. Heller, let's make this easier on both of us. I'm not here to intimidate you. I'm not placing blame. Just need to ask you a few questions. Now, you spent the day with her, you left her where? At the hotel where she was staying. Did she seem nervous, edgy, uncharacteristically fearful? Never. How long did you know her? About two weeks. She was originally from Carmel. Wheaton. She was originally from Wheaton. She moved to Carmel with her parents when she was 10. Anyway, she was having some trouble there in Carmel. She had to get away. But don't ask me trouble with whom or get away from what, because I don't know. She never said. Did you know that Miss Shepard was a professor of languages? 14 languages, to be exact. And she had at least that many degrees and accomplishments. Remarkable woman. Mr. Bryce tells me you paid for the university. I used to, yes. Why'd you stop? Several years ago, I was commissioned to do a series of triptychs. Strict, analytical interpretations of biblical phenomena. Biblical lore. Phenomena has too many negative connotations. It angers the high court. Anyway, I hate the fucking church. I don't know, I just hate them. No offense. Maybe a little. I remember this one piece. A woman who was blind, I'm sure you know it, wandered the desert seeking the figure of truth. All her life she'd been taught the truth was a, a palpable thing that walked where we walked and felt the heat of the sun in the way that we felt the heat of the sun. And whenever she encountered another person... Right, right. Whenever she encountered another person, she would grab them and ask, are you not this thing I seek? And they would answer no and continue on. Wayne was very much like that woman. Let me know if you remember anything else. Mr. Bryce? What was that all about? Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 10. Trust not what you see, for the eyes they do deceive. But the woman was blind. Yes, blind to the truth beneath her feet. He was trying to tell me something about this place. Mr. Clark. Brother. What, what can I do for you? Mr. Clark, my name is John Abbott. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Wayne Shepherd. Is she dead? She's dead. Ah, oh, Jesus. Look, I just live right around the corner. Do you mind? Not at all. Please. I had no idea you guys were the authorities. I suppose I should be more cautious. Anyway, you won't prosecute, will you? <laughs> I'm just a prisoner. Thank you. So tell me, how long have you been a subversive? Oh, I wouldn't say subversive. More like a social critic. I see the Kent administration. I watch. They race towards the abyss. I shout, look out. I offer people the privilege of choice. Mr. Clark. Sean. Sean. How did you know she was dead? Well, Wayne once told me that she was looking and she was finding some things out. And not to be surprised if she disappeared. So I'm not. When did you see her last? Last Thursday. We met for drinks at the uh, Owling Moon. She couldn't stay, though, because she was catching a ride. A ride? To where? Somewhere in the country. Let me think, uh... Ada? 
Addisans. Sans. San Ansidine? Yes, that's San it. San Ansidine. San Ansidine. What characterizes San Ansidine? Oh, nothing really. It's the termination point for the network of tunnels beneath the city, but they haven't been used in years. Sean, do you know a man named Donald Heller? He's a painter. He's about your height. Definitely not. Don't know him. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Hey, you know what I uh, said before about uh, arresting me? Look at it this way, Sean. I, too, offer the privilege of choice, cooperation or incarceration. Good day. Splendid tea. been granted access to the big machine. When? Tomorrow afternoon, 3.15, see a Ms. Boone. And the girl's crate has been delivered to your room. You'll have to sign for that on the line. But... Abby Trent left word. Back in two days, no surprise. Meeting's been arranged to her home, 10.30. That's the address. What do you suppose she was doing out at the San Anzadine? Perhaps she was a terrorist. Well, I know you find that difficult to believe, Mr. Abbott, but remember, even the wisest men have erred and by bad women been deceived. Good night, Mr. Bryce. Good night, Mr. Abbott. Mr. Bryce, please. John Abbott. Hello. Someone's been in my room. Yes, I'm positive they broke into the crate. Mm-hmm. 
Listen, do you have a list of the contents? You did? Where? Some old cutaways. How does this work? Mm, very old. What's your big machine? I'll be right back. Yeah. It's the technology bringing us closer together. dominant, dot random, is the analyzed code a recognized code?
morning. What time is it? It's after 10. How's it going? It's fine. Going terribly. I thought Shepard was using some sort of coding system, so I machined everything. And yeah. Nothing, so I did a little work on my own. Here, have a look. Hmm. What's a rebus? A story told in pictures instead of words. I like a comic strip. Precisely. And Starrette? Holy Man. And Trajet is Passageway. And Scylla and Charybdis are... Mythological metaphors. To be trapped between the two is tantamount to failure, certain death. So what does it all mean? It means holy man avoids San Anzadine, being told to back off. I also found this. Seems someone is anxious for something. What is this 15 Frip M9? 15 Fry 9. Friday the 15th, 9 p.m. Well, that's tonight. I don't suppose there's any way I can prevent you from going, is there? No. But you could arrange safe passage and pray? Why are you here? Why have you come? Don't be foolish. We'll leave you now.
light. There was only two of them, I'm sure of it. And we I... sent a search party when the driver returned without you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go on. Then the second man said, do you have the tube? The tube? Well, of course I didn't. When they retreated, I tried to follow, was caught and beaten. Did they give you anything at the hospital, Mav or Dad, coax, anything? They gave me coax. Let's get on with this. What do we know about this blank scrap of paper, the one you found in Wayne Shepard's wig? Nothing, just a blank piece of paper. Tried that already. Salt. Yes, I know. Her whole body reeked of the ocean. It's the first thing I noticed. But she wasn't drowned and Southridge has no coast, of course. Now, could the body have been moved? No. Well, what about these runes? It's obvious. The spiral descends, starts here, descends into her belly. Well, why do you see it like that? Perhaps it's ascending. No. Well, why not? Look, here at the bottom, the single has a circle is a single focal point. It's uh, vulnerable to the strength of one arm and so forth. But as it ascends, it acquires strength, fortitude, resistance. It isn't like that. You're so sure. Can we get on with this? I still say it's ascending. Beware, beware, the circle within the square. A poem by Fedorovsky. Something to do with carefully treading. It's another warning. The poem speaks about stepping to the four, the four being north, south, east, and west. It's a metaphor for leaving. Or perhaps an invitation to leave. I thought of that. Have there been any suggestions from your home office? Has uh, Mr. Baker telephoned? I haven't told Baker anything yet. Certainly not about my accident. Look, the fact that she had my picture means she either knew of me or we had a mutual friend. Did you? Not to my knowledge. Why was she killed, Mr. Abbott? That's a reasonable question, wouldn't you? Of course it is. I'm not sure. I suspect she came here specifically to either help or join in the revolution. She came here to be a part of something. I believe she was lured. She was introduced to something. She was used. Finally, when she came around, she was killed. Those men last night, they could have killed me. They wanted to kill me, but they didn't because they knew that my death would only aggravate things. She wasn't accidental. Wayne Shepard was lured. That's what I'm going to put in today's report. Well, I've got to be going. Yes, you should get some rest. Must be the medication. Perhaps it is. You have my number. You'll call, yes? Uh, if anything surfaces, yeah. Good night, Mr. Bryce. Good night, Mr. Ash.
Did I? One moment, please. You promised me that nothing would happen. The investigator will go away. That's the promise you made. I'm a man of my word, yes. I intend to. No, I can't trust you. Somebody doesn't trust me. Excuse me. Excuse me. John Abbott, I have an appointment with Miss Trent. Dr. Trent. I have an appointment. Just a second. Is today the 18th? The 18th, yes. Just a second. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Alcott, but you Abbott, don't... Abbott. John Abbott. Have an appointment. It appears you were misled. I wasn't misled. My appointment was for tonight at her house, 7.30. I was hoping I might see her sooner. As you can see, I'm not exactly what the Lord would call mighty above all things. I guess not. Anyway, Dr. Trent isn't here. Will she be in later? Can I wait? She won't be in until tomorrow. Best just to see her tonight. Thank you. Dearest Emily, that which I thought was true has been proven a lie. I am coming to the realization that God has not manifested himself in every human form. There are some, only a handful, who shall remain nameless, whom he has abandoned. And I am among them. Your loving husband, John.
my career, my standing. If Emily could see me now, she might whisper, what success, the failure of my married days. My lips, the lips of a fool, but I say the girl was lured, a stranger. Wayne Shepherd was there, and then pity, the clouds over my eyes, seeing strange things distorted, like sleeping in mid-ocean. She was there, and then Wayne was lured, a village. They lend ears to my words. Their eyes watch. They carry out plans, not mine. Make alliances, inspired by the night. Rooked, no longer a man, the rook, only a bird. to ask you a few questions. Can I ask you a few questions? Not over the phone. Can we meet? Are you at home now? I'm still at work. Listen, meet me at the Owly Moon. It's a bar on Mercer. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Yes. Abbott, it's Helen. Don Helen, remember? I was just out the door. I have to see you. Listen, Abbott, we have to talk. Can I see you? I, uh... Come on. Will you be home later? Say, around 11. I'll be home. I'll see you then. Dr. Tran. Usual, Helen. Do you always play such coy and obvious games? Only with investigators. Have a seat. You're a regular here? Yeah, it's one of my favorite places. They have an old music machine out back. Nothing but swing. Scented. Here, take them. Might come in handy. I don't smoke. Never know. I wanted to talk with you about Wayne Shepherd. He performed the preliminary examination. I have some photos. Uh, would you mind if we shared a table? Follow me. I was hoping you could shed some light on these rooms. Sure. They're not tattoos, you know. I know. They were drawn on. Some kind of water-soluble paint. In my estimation, less than 12 hours before she was killed, someone did this to her. Or she did it to herself. I, uh... Thank you. Now, do you... This may seem trivial, but do you see this as ascending or descending? Descending. Definitely. Me too. You're from Greenwich. Which district? 
Nolan District. That's District 2 in the north. Aren't you concerned? About the revolution? A little. I have a wife and two children who won't leave. I encourage it, but Emily is... Uh, I hate the word stubborn. I hate stubborn. It's, she's more determined. Have you researched those rooms? No. I have. The first series, the upper four characters are height designations. The second tier are depth, and the lower eight are safety estimates. They're mining specs, characteristic of drilling or tunneling. After dinner, I'd like to show you something. Are you available? Of course. She was wearing a wig when you examined her. Of course she was. Wayne liked to wear boys' clothes and always shaved her head or cut her hair short. She wore wigs when she wanted to change. Blonde, red, black, or white. Anything to be different. She thought she stood out like a fly in milk, she used to say. Like a fly in milk. Wayne left some of her things here. Mostly clothes. Shoes. This is an announcement from the Oddest thing. Nearest beach is a hundred miles away. I hear they're close to toppling Greenwich. Well, don't believe everything. How involved was she? We never discussed her affiliations. We weren't together that long. I see you have the overlays. Overlays? You may have mistaken them for computer cards. You mean they're not computer cards? No, I mean, sure they are and they aren't. They're computer cards, but they're also a form of disseminating information, sort of like a code. Impossible. I ran a complete check. With what, your Penfield standard? What would you suggest? Penfield only monitors pre-war. This code hasn't been used for over two centuries. See that E? On one of the cards, there should be here, in the corner. There should be seven exact matches. The rest you can throw away. Put them together. Heller and Clark underground. Heller and Clark and Shepard underground. Heller and Clark slow. Heller is the tool. The tool is used. Shepard behind Heller and Clark. Heller and Clark alone. Don't look at me. Is this all you have? That's everything. Except for the tube. Show me. Yes? Mr. Abbott? Who's there? Mr. Abbott? That's my room. They came through the tunnels right into my room. No wonder this map is so invaluable to me. Valuable to whom? There's the entrance where I was attacked. But according to this map, the tunnel extends all the way into town. Maybe there was a cave in. Lots of blasting this summer. Can I ask you something? If they have access to the tunnels, and they use the tunnel to get into your room, then what do they need a map for? Seems obvious to me they already have a map. What they probably have is a preliminary sketch. This is invaluable to them. Why? 
why was she killed? I have another appointment. I'll need to see you again tomorrow. Call my office. I'll skip lunch. Beware, beware, the circle within the square at San Ansidini game. Whoever killed Heller must have been looking for me. It was uh, hidden in his rectum. <clears throat> he was approached from behind, stabbed in the back of the neck. seen to that. Precisely. Found this. Clark, Heller, and Shepard. Clark lied to me. This is Radio Kent with the latest report from the front. Revolutionary victory, brothers and sisters. Greenwich is now under control of our superior forces. Stay tuned for the latest report from the front. Don't lie to me. Take him in. Heller's dead. led her there, to San Anzadi. Yeah. You and Heller, yes? Yeah. All for your fucking revolution. Do you realize they've distanced themselves from the church? They don't even believe in attempting a spiritual union. They're not better for the people. No. They offer a choice. Is that what happened to Shepard? She offered a choice. All I know is she went to that place. Now it's my turn. So, you did it. Also found out that Don Heller was the chief designer for Clark's leaflet. He supplied them with the artwork and photos. Clark was just trying to protect him. What about the map, the map of San Anstine? She is all right. And the girl, was she a terrorist, or, or was it worse? He says he didn't know. He was in love with her. They both were. Anyway, I'll need him in the morning. I need you to sign. We won't be needing those. Oh, I think we will. In fact, I'd like you to stay here tonight, if you don't mind. I'll have a cot in the outer office. How's that? 
Wait here. John, where are you going? I have to call Baker. Let him know we're close to ending this. Well, can't it wait? Everybody, it's too early. Perhaps he isn't up yet. Keep an eye on him. Why didn't you tell me? The news arrived late yesterday. I didn't want to trouble you. I'm sorry. I should have. <sighs> Greenwich doesn't answer. Why didn't you tell me? I thought it best to wait, John. John, there's no way to know. Your wife could be safe. Until the hostility ceases, we won't know anything. John, we still have our assigned duties to attend to. Need I remind you of the old thing? There's nothing you need to remind me of, fool. That's abuse. You can stop looking at me like that. I already told you I didn't kill her. Suddenly it's hard to believe you. Suddenly you're a different person. Cocky, arrogant. Not at all the reserved dissident I met four days ago. I'm just nervous. You should be. Wake me when we get there. found you over there by the rock. This way, John. This way.
just a facade. There's more on the other side. Abbott underground, Rice and Clark are slow. Rice is the tool. The tool is used.
My dearest Emily, I know you'll never read this letter, nor will you ever see my face again, but know in my heart that I will always love you. Kiss the children, John. My name is Harrison Baker. I have an appointment with Mr. Bryce. Dr. Trent. Doctor, I'd like you to meet Harrison Baker. Mr. Baker, this is Dr. Abigail Trent, our resident surgeon. Very long about you, Doctor. Nice to meet you. Is this him? Uh, yes, I'm afraid it is. Damn shame. We found these on his body. Abnormal traces in his blood. Hmm. Seems he was popping them like candy. Hmm. You remember when I telephoned, Mr. Baker? I telephoned and said he was acting strangely. Of course I remember. Seems he was unusually obsessive about this shepherd girl. When we found uh, his photograph in her room, I asked him, where did it come from? And he wouldn't tell me. Always had my doubts about Abbott. Too medicinal for my taste. If you understand my meaning. Yes. I imagine Mr. Baker will want to examine the room. Good idea. I have to be back by four. Follow me. Some uh, interesting things over here. Huh? Apparently, they've been corresponding for years. Oh. My dearest Wayne, blah, blah, blah. Miss you dearly. Can't leave my wife. Blah, blah, blah. Love always, John. Hmm. They're all pretty much the same. What's this? Suicide, no? Hmm. My dearest Emily, I know you will never read this letter, nor will you ever see my face again. Remember, I will love you always. Kiss the children, John. Well, I certainly owe you a debt of gratitude, Mr. Bryce. You've wrapped this up very expeditiously. Now, if you will just authorize these, we can officially close the investigation. There and there. And twice more, please. Thank you. safe journey. Thanks again. Let's go.
Thank you.